Hi guys, Kevlar here. Today I want to test out if RGB affects the performance of your PC. So as you can see on my PC there, I do have a lot of RGB. I'm a bit over the top with that. Now recently while editing videos, I notice when my PC stutters a little bit, when it struggles, the RGB lighting flashes. So obviously to run all that RGB, it must use a little bit of the CPU power. So I want to do some tests. I'm not going to do gaming tests, I'm just going to run a CPU test. So I'm going to run a Cinebench test with all my RGB on. And I'm going to try and turn most of my RGB off and run the same test and see if there's any difference in results. Let's get into it. Right, okay, so here's the first test for the RGB on. So remember I've got a Ryzen 7 5800X and I haven't tested a Cinebench on this before, so let's see what score we get. Uh, 13,766. Right, so that was the test with all the RGB on, and now you can see I've turned all the RGB off, or what I can in IQ. Of course, their panels at the bottom there aren't controlled by IQ. I've just got them plugged straight into a USB. I'm not going to bother going around opening the case up to unplug that. But all the IQ controlled devices are now off, and you can see it looks quite dark in there. That's a lot of RGB that I've turned off. So now let's run the same test in Cinebench and see if we get a different score. Okay, so we see here I've just turned all the RGB off, run the test, let's see what we get. So this time is 13,828, so it's a slight bit higher, not a lot higher. So I'm going to turn the RGB back on and run it again, because I think we need a few more results to see a good comparison. So this is the second test of RGB on. We got 13,862, so that's gone up um, from our last RGB off test. So we're going to turn RGB back off, run again, and see if we get any different sort of results. So, so far it's inconclusive because we're getting higher results even with RGB on. So 13,855, so that's gone a little bit down. So final results we've got rgb on our first test was 13,766, and that's actually our lowest score that we've done and that was our first test then our second test we did with rgb off and we got 13,828. so that was a jump up from rg being on but then we did another test with rgb on straight after and that went up even more so 13,862, and that's actually our highest result and that's RGB on. RGB off, we did another test, 13,855, so it dropped down a little bit. So that's interesting. It's it's um, it's um all around the same ballpark. We've got to remember, I've got my recording software going. It's actually a really hot day. So these probably aren't, you know, the perfect scores for this CPU, but that's not what we're really testing. Um, so I know these are low scores for this CPU, but we did this test one after another, turned an RGB on and RGB off. So the conditions should be about the same each time. And we're getting very, very close results. The fact that our highest result is with RGB on. So in conclusion, I'd say no real effect on your CPU performance. So go ahead, stick as much RGB as you want in your PC. And it's not gonna use up too much of your CPU power and limit the performance on other tasks that you're performing. So I hope you found that useful. Please do give us a like and subscribe if not already done so. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.